What is up everybody and welcome to my indie game spotlight for Redina. Now Redina is a space exploration RPG that I actually found on Indie Static today and it's just a really intriguing game. It's currently in version 1.02 which I believe is essentially alpha and uh, you can pick it up on the links below if you like what you see. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing about 10-15 minutes gameplay here and telling you what I think about it and uh, yeah, just giving you my opinion. So this is the front screen here, actually a very sleek looking front screen you immediately think you know it's going to be a space related game um, but we have ex explore mode and there's actually a question mark here which is actually really helpful a lot of com games don't do that and they just expect you to know exploration mode allows you to play the game with no enemies no story elements it's great for those who just want to fly around all right so that's good to know obviously i won't be doing that but um if you want to do that go ahead and there's load options let's see the, the, what the options we have here uh there's console disabled I, i'm surprised they even had a console honestly combat difficulty movement difficulty music volume all that good jazz just enough that you need to uh play the game that's perfect um, credits, we'll scroll through these really quickly. It's made by El Elliptic Games, if you don't know who's, uh, who's, I think it's just a sole person, Brendan Anthony, but, um, oh no, actually we got writing design, music. So there is a few of them. Actually, that's a lot more than I expected, which is really cool. But, uh, the, yeah, that's the credits, and let's start into this. Let's not just, um, look at the, uh, start screen all day. I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm in the game right now. Okay, so that, that, was, that was actually the coolest cut into a game ever. My serial number. Alright, I guess I'll acknowledge that. And it's like doing some sort of... Coding, I guess. <laughs> Your... I guess it would be name. And I'm, I'm not doing anything right now, it's doing it on its own. So, the, the suggested name is Sarah. I wonder what the game is trying to tell me right now. No, I think I will be doing Dragas, thank you very much. And I will be acknowledging that. My name is Dragas, okay. And I'm falling for some reason. And there's a green dot. So let's go to the green dot. But wow, this is actually... I mean, it's nothing amazing, obviously, but um, it does look very pretty. But uh, I'm curious to see how the space exploration works. I don't know if it's actually a full universe. I'm really curious to do that, to uh, see that. But I think this is my ship over here. I did watch a little bit of gameplay of it. And I think the green means my ship. I don't know if there's things to collect on this land. But the worlds are procedurally generated. So I will say that now. And um, I guess you just collect resources going around. And there is uh, dogfighting in this game. So hopefully we'll get into some of that. I don't know if I'll be any good. But yes, this is definitely looking like my wonderful ship. Uh... A very minimal ship, obviously. Um, not many voxels at all. But uh, hey, that's cool. Let's go inside and see how complex it is, though. Up an airlock. Um, airlock computer. Uh, open airlock out. So you can modify ship layout. Hold on. I, I, uh, close airlock. There we go. And oh, it looks like I'm getting air now. But I'm not taking off my helmet, so I don't really know why I would be getting air, but hey, I won't, I won't, I won't question it. This is, this is their game. That's, uh, that's their way of doing it. Operations computer. Alt weapon control ship health. So it's just, I guess, operations. We got ship health and everything. But yeah, we are literally in my ship right now. Crates, I don't, can't really do anything with that. Let's just wander around here and see what this ship really has. Uh, we got another crate here. Barrel storage closet. I can't open that yet. I don't know if Maybe they haven't implemented yet, or I just haven't gotten anything in storage. I do not know. Uh, looks like we got a nice desk here, but where is the cockpit? I want to go to the pressurized tank. Uh, can't do anything with that. Barrel. So you, it does say, like, everything, and a lot of things you can't use yet. Maybe I need to get resources first, or whatever I need to use that. But holy crap, this ship is a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, I'll tell you that much. Ooh, that's, that's making a loud noise, so uh, obviously. Uh, FTL communications. Urgent message, encrypting communications. So this is essentially my email, I guess? Prior to channel communication, receive citizen. The mission is in danger. Our brave vanguard has been attacked by ships unknown of a Norn origin. Your fellow colonists have been scattered and destroyed. It's, it is by providence alone that you have survived. Uh, yada yada yada. I'm not going to go into much of the RPG aspects, but just know that there is a storyline that you could follow. Um, I was reading a bit on the developer's website, and he likes having a storyline that really doesn't pop out for you, and then there's no real cutscenes or anything. You kind of have to find everything, like a lot like Stalker. And I really like that, but we are, we're at the pilot station right now, and I'm actually kind of bummed, because I was hoping there would be a big window 
but I guess in this day and age there probably would be LCD monitors there instead of Windows, because I would only assume that Windows would be the weakest part of a spaceship, and you do not want that. We've got another operations computer, so that's the same. Um, I just want to wander around a bit before we get into the, the flight. There is just so much here, oh my god. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get to all of it because I'm easily lost. What the hell is this? There's a maze at the front of my ship. Lumin Liminal Drive. I can't do anything with that. Uh, shelves. Just so, I, I guess we'll just go back. I think there's not much else. Um, actually, I have no idea, to be honest. But um, I want to fly the ship. Let's just say that. And hopefully we'll find out. Oh, well, I went to the wrong way. There. <laughs> there's a bathroom. So I, I guess everybody poops, right? So we need to have that. Okay, so let's go to the pilot station. Ooh, okay. Press space to move the ship up, so we've got a nice tutorial here. And that reminds me a lot of Gary's Mod, that uh, <laughs> that little jet. Press W to move the ship forward. Okay, so there's no real ship noise yet, but I haven't went to hyperdrive. Press the R mouse button to engage the clutch and coast. Alright, so I am pressing R right now. It's not really doing anything. Oh, R. <laughs> I was hitting R on my keyboard. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a bright one. Alright, let's hit that. Alright, now now attempt shifting while holding our mouse button, tap W or S. Oh, 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 shoot. Okay, so that's like hyperdrive. Ship instruction, shifting C to get used to shifting up and down, you will be using it frequently. So I'm assuming this is to travel, and then once I shift down, this is to land on uh, zones. Oh my god, this is actually really hard to control. It's kind of, well, it's kind of weightless, let's just say that, and I guess it would be in, uh, in space. So... I guess we just wander now? What, what's the... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Let's, let's wander over here. Let's see what's still on this uh, this planet that I started on. I, I guess we'll just call it Mars, because it kind of looks like Mars. I don't even know if this is in our known universe. No idea. I think it's... Well, it is procedurally generated, so obviously it wouldn't be. It's just procedurally generated. So. Stars. So, um, what is this? I am really curious. I don't want to, like, land and break myself. Uh, I gotta shift down. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. I think control is to... Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. So, landing is not... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. Oh, my God. Screw this. No, I, I, I do want to land, but I just don't want to, like, break my ship. So, I'm trying to shift down. I don't really remember how. There we go. There... Oh, my God. I... I have no sense of direction when it comes to flying. Like, I, I've played so many flying games, and I just can't do it. Um, I, I, I get confused when there's up and downs, and... I'm trying to go down right now by lowering my nose. That's obviously not the way, so let's just do this. And see if I can hit the ground soon. Oh, I don't want to go too fast, though. Ugh, it's hard to tell how close I am. Um, it's hard to tell how far... Oh! 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 No! 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 Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Okay, come on. It, that's landed, right? That's... Oh, yes! Tap to exit. All right, now i got to remember how to get out of here. So that was kind of an event. I'm sorry I'm not the uh, professional plot pilot that I should be when I'm uh, spotlighting a game like this, but I want to play it. So screw you guys. I am going to be shitty and... Uh, oh, I didn't even need to put on my helmet or anything. Okay. Um, so we landed. I just want to go over here and see what this is. It looks like it's a health uh, thing. So, I, I don't know if that's going to help me, but um, it's our first little waypoint. I figured I may as well head over here and see what it is. Now, I didn't land very close, uh, but it's a lot safer to just land and then wander than try and land right by it and kill my damn ship. If this is even a spot, is this just going to the middle of nowhere? I don't feel like I was this far away. Like, maybe it's just my depth perception, but I felt like this land was kind of small. And now, when, now that I'm wandering on it, oh my god. I, I don't know what kind of magic they did with the depth the perception, but that is really, really neat. It makes you feel like you're not going very fast, but in reality, that ship is going so fast to get this far. I, I mean, I felt like I parked right beside it. Am I even going to make, to make it? Okay, so it looks like there's some white things on the, uh, on the mountain. So I guess this is our resource gathering, essentially. Oh, oh, come on, slow down. So this is a weightlessness uh, place. Missile ammo, too. So I'm going to take those. And I want this empty barrel. I guess I'll take it. Why not? Um, oh, God, is that an enemy? What is that? What the hell are you? Hello. I, don't, I, I mean no harm. Cruise engine upgrade. Oh. Now you can travel to other asteroids. Look up to find radar signals that of heavy he heavenly bodies. Okay. Oh. Oh, my God. God! 
So I have played EVE a bit, and this feels a lot like EVE, where you got these little waypoints to go to, and oh my god, there's actually so many of them. So I almost want to, like, screw all, all these little things. Oh, there's another upgrade. Hold on, I want to grab this first. Data stick. Oh, I'm not going to read all that. Add to archives. Why not? Let's just, uh... Oh my god, there's so many things, though. I want to grab them. But it's hard. It, it, it is really... Uh, that's my one complaint. It is kind of hard to wander. But maybe it's just this planet. Maybe there's low gravity on this planet. And I think that would be really cool, actually, because it would add a lot more. I can't even grab this. I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to leave. I don't want to stand here trying to grab things for two hours, but um, I'm hoping that this gravity is just on this planet. It's essentially like a moon, or well, is our comparison to the moon, where there's a lot of le a lot less gravity than Earth. Uh, maybe if I go to a bigger planet, there'll be more of a, gravita a gravitational pull. That would be really, really awesome. I don't know if it's that complex yet, but I hope they start adding things like that. I also want to mention, uh, I, I don't know if you can hear this music, but it is absolutely epic. Um, a lot of indie games do not focus on music, and that bothers me so much, or they'll add like a track of dubstep and trying to uh, cater to the younger audience. Not cool, in my opinion. Um, I, I'm, I'm a fan of dubstep, uh, admittedly, but uh, I, everyone likes violin and like epic band music. Uh, so it's probably the best idea to use that, and it feels so much more epic. I feel like I'm almost like in Lord of the Rings or something on this epic quest. Except I'm in space and nothing like Lord of the Rings, but that, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, let's get back to the ship here, and I'll just try and shut up a little bit so you can just enjoy the music. I've been talking way too much. Mind you, I don't know what those squeaking noises are. I'm assuming those are aliens ready to eat my head. But uh, we'll just avoid that. Alright, here we go. Back in, open airlock in. Oh, there's my, there's my, my breath of fresh air. And we're going to make a beeline straight to the cockpit, because I want to go to a new land and see what the differences are. Hoping there's no aliens trying to kill me right now, because I, I don't even know how to fly this damn thing yet, but uh, let's just figure it out. Okay, so we just want to go up a bit, and I forget how to shift. Oh, yeah, right click, and shift it into gear. Takes takes a little while to get used to that, but um, not, not, not too bad overall. Where am I going? I, I seen a whole bunch of them, and now I'm seeing like one or two. Oh no, I, I guess they're all over there. So let's... I, I have no idea what the closest one is, and I have no idea how long this is going to take, but I'm just going to head towards one, and hopefully it's one of the closest. I would like some sort of depth perception system. That, like, all these dots seem to be about the same length, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it, it, at least it's pointing you in the right direction, but I would like to know what's the closest landmass to me. Uh, that would be uh, definitely really helpful. Mind you, these might all be right in a row, and I'm saying things out my ass that I shouldn't be saying, but um, I'm going to assume that they are vastly spread apart, because this is not getting any closer. And it's been, like, well, not very long at all, but, like, I would assume with a small indie game, it would have been already almost there. But this is definitely a universe, and it is an open universe. Okay, so we have arrived at a giant meatball. Now, I know I said uh, about not knowing how far they are, but if you travel in a general direction, the close ones will show up on the bottom of your screen. Um, so it kind of shows you a general idea of what the closest one is, and we're, we are at a giant meatball. I don't know how close I am. Uh, again, it's re really hard to see depth perception in this game, but it looks like a small planet, um, or as I would say, a giant meatball. So I hope I can mine it for all its uh, meaty goodness. But what we will see here, let's just keep going in and... <laughs> uh, just for reference, I was traveling, uh, I, I glanced at my clock, when I left that planet, I, I've been traveling for five minutes, so this was the closest one from the, from the, uh, the location that I left at, at least in the, in the, in the, in the direction that I went, so, just for a general idea of how far everything is, it's actually quite vast, and, I mean, we're not even close, I mean, this might, thing might be huge, it's really hard to tell, and I guess that's realistic, it's really hard to tell distances in, in space, and I guess it would be in this game too. Uh, but I hope I don't like crash into this little meatball of a planet <laughs> right away, that would be hilarious though. Alright, so we're starting to see formations on the on the uh, planet, and it's getting quite big. Looks very similar to the other one, I don't know if that's just sheer luck, I was hoping to be like a big blue planet or... Maybe like a Saturn-like planet. That would be really cool. But I mean, it's still this this thing is becoming freaking huge, and 
The depth perception perception in this game just amazes me, honestly. It's, <laughs> it's really, really neat. I really don't know how close I am. It's I'm trying to, like, not hit the ground. I think I'm getting really close now. Yeah, I must be. I mean, that's... Yeah, okay, we, we are close to the ground now, but it actually looks like a planet now. That, that, that little meatball turned into this huge thing, so we're just gonna wander around here. I was hoping there'd be, like, waypoints to go to, but um, maybe it's not that much of an easy mode. Uh, I think those are other... Pl yeah, those are definitely other planets. So we're just gonna wander around the surface of this, looking for whatever we can find. Maybe there's nothing on this. Uh, maybe, maybe some empty planets. I mean, re realistically... Oh, it looks like we have some sort of plains. It was, it was rocky before, now it's like some sort of desert. But um, not much on the planets yet. I didn't really expect like civilizations or anything yet, but I, I am very curious for the dogfighting. I do have, as you can see, a very, very cool pixelated shot. Probably shouldn't be using that because I don't know how many of uh, the ammos I have. But um, yes, I, I do in fact have weapons to fight with if I can ever find an enemy. Oh wow, now, now we're on a dark side of the planet. I don't know if there's a sun. But if there is, that would be so cool. Because this is a, obviously a really dark side of the planet. But I think I'm going to leave here. I, I've, I've been traveling around it for a couple minutes now, and I really don't see too much. And I've made it to the dark side of the moon, so uh, I think it's time to go explore some more. And hopefully it doesn't take another five minutes, because that's a long time for me. And I, I'm an impatient motherfucker. Okay, so I did, in fact, find a sun for that planet. I don't know how far this sun is away, but I'm really, really tempted to just fly into it to see if I die. <laughs> but, uh, totally cool. I didn't expect there to be, like, planetary systems in it. I expected it to just be essentially asteroids wandering about the universe. Um, as you can see, it looks like there's a lot of little planets rotating around it, so I'm gonna go into this system and see what I can find. Now, I probably should have read that email. Maybe there was t it was telling me something to do, but I'm, I'm just here to explore and show you the game anyway, so I don't really care. Okay, so I made a stupid mistake. There's a, another gear, and it's the purple gear. So I am going so fast now. Um, t t take back those five minutes before. I didn't realize there was another gear. I am sorry. I'm actually really going fast now. And there looks like there's a new planet somewhere around here. Um, I'm just going to keep wandering towards the sun. I'm really intrigued by it, so I want to go to these close planets. Hopefully it's uh, accurate to... Uh, a, a, a real uh, star system because the close planets are generally the rocky small ones so I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see if that's fact on this. As you can see I'm getting really close to it really quickly so hopefully it pops up here. Oh there it is. Oh 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 god what the hell is that? Um... Oh okay so there, there was a red thing on this planet. I just flew by this planet. It's going way too... Oh 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 god there's like... they're fighting me. Oh my god yes the... so... There's colonies on this game! What the hell? Is this like a seek seeking missile? Oh god, it is! Oh god! Oh god! Come on, come on, come on! Oh my god! Oh no, 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 I can't aim! Why is it not letting me hit him? Aww! Oh my god, though! I did not expect anything near this for this game. I expected this to be another typical indie game review, where it's uh, a mediocre game, but this... I mean, maybe I'm, like, fanboying it hardcore, but I've never been a fan of the space uh, genre, and this game has absolutely intrigued me. I am... I'm really excited by it. But I'm gonna end it here, guys. Um, as you can see, I think I gave you a nice little overview of what to be expected. RPGs, um, first-person view, uh, your, your own spaceship, uh, you know, universal exploration. Totally cool. So again, guys, this is uh, Redina, and you can get it on the links below. So actually, I do want to mention before I forget, it has a pay-what-you-want business structure, which I really respect. Essentially, it's mixing a Humble Bundle with a Kickstarter, where you have uh, certain tiers that give you certain rewards. But the base of the game, if you do not have the funding to pay a lot for the game, uh, you spend two bucks and you will get the game. So go ahead. And, I mean, two bucks is nothing, and this is going to give me a lot of good experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.